evening. Uh, got a couple things to talk about. Uh, pretty much all of it is game content related, which should make some of you people happy who uh, know me or are getting familiar with me. For those of you that have never seen or heard of me before, uh, greetings, salutations, and uh, I do not bite unless that's what you like. Um, anyways, I digress. Um, the first thing, uh, my roommate and I were at Walmart the other day, happened to see the brand new Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns um, game there with this cute little DLC sticker on it. So I'm like, hey, what's this do? I look at it, and it's Lightning with a costume alternative that dresses her up like Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Now, my biggest problem with this whole thing is just about everything because, well, I'm an old-fashioned gamer. So, with that in mind, shame on you, Square Enix. I, look, you're nickel and diming everybody. I got that. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. You know, give the fans what they want. Not crappy, linear, um, forgettable characters. I mean, let's let's be real here. Final Fantasy VIII had forgettable characters, but the story was good and it was kind of non-linear. There was some side quests, and you had full control of the world very early in the game, so you go wherever the hell you wanted to. Thirteen was not that, from what I can remember, because I did block it out. It was a terrible game. It was pretty. And we all like pretty these days, at least that's what I've noticed. You know, I understand the art thing, going back to Phil Fish, you know, Fez was visually a beautiful game. 13, I could say the same thing. But it lacked a lot. Anyways, I'm getting on a whole other thing. Don't dress up lightning like Cloud. Give us the remake. Reboot, no, don't reboot. Remaster Final Fantasy VII. Remaster it bring the graphics up to date, re-release it, and you will have everybody and their sister that played it kicking down your door with hands just gripping money in plastic going, give me, you know, even firstborn children. Seriously. I guarantee you this. But no, what do you do? You go and put Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII on Steam for 12, 11, 12 dollars. For those of you who do have a Steam account and have never played either of these games, do go get them. They are, like I said, 11, 12 bucks. I'm a poor gamer, so um, I actually had them given to me for uh, Christmas and just for the heck of it from uh, one of my brothers. But you know, don't 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 tease us with, hey, you know, you remember playing Final Fantasy VII, don't you? Sure you do. So we're going to give you the new protagonist here, Lightning, who I... She's okay. But we're going to make her look like your favorite yellow spiky-haired hero. No. No, 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 no. No, we don't do that. That's bad. Bad Square Enix. Bad. So... Let's not do that. Let's remaster 7. Bring it to the general population. Make us all happy. I mean, come on. Let's be realistic here. The people who have played 7 my age, probably some younger people out there, you, you guys know who you are. Would you be happy, honestly, and leave a... Leave your opinion on this in, uh, in uh, the comment section, if you like. But would you pay... Twenty dollars, let's say twenty bucks, for a remastered version of Final Fantasy VII on the PS3 or even the next-gen console, the PS4. Nothing changed. No added content. No added story. No bonus dungeons. Nothing. Just completely brought up to today's standard of graphics. Would you be willing to pay ten bucks for that? So, go ahead, throw a comment down in there if that. If you want to do that, that's cool. Um, the other thing that kind of ties in with Square, but also has something to do with um, a company that I'm very familiar with, and that's Hasbro, because I'm a Transformer collector, is um, recently a bunch of fans um, put together a My Little Pony game. 
Now, My Little Pony today frightens me. Pinkie Pie, no thanks. My roommate's wife, who's also my roommate, obviously. It makes sense, right? Right. Um, loves My Little Pony. Good for her. She's a girl. I expect these things. Nothing against bronies. Just saying. It's just my whole thing. But they made a fighting game called Fighting is Magic, and it looked cool. Now, apparently Hasbro went and said, no, you can't do it, shut it down, cease and desist, no more. You can't do it. You know, it's a fan-made game. These are people taking time and money out of their, you know, out of themselves to make something to kind of do a little fan service and a tip of the hat and show their love for um, My Little Pony. Kind of like with uh, Transformer Collectors, there's guys out there who do third-party figures. They look like the original figures, but they're just slightly different in some fashion, whether it's a color here or a bit there, but mostly it's the name to keep these third-party guys from being sued. You know, that's fan service. Everybody's saying, hey, you know, Hasbro, you really should have made this guy again, but since you didn't, we're going to do it for you. And then I'm going to charge you three or $400 for it. So that way some other collector can have it. But anyways, I'm tangenting again. I do that a lot. You'll get used to it. When, you're, when I talk, it's you're on the random bus, and you have to stay with the tour. So get used to it, folks. Um, anyways, fighting is magic. Hasbro puts down a cease and desist says, no, you can't do it anymore, shuts it down. Well, the team, apparently, from uh, what I've discovered on um, Screw Attack, which is another uh, website I visit frequently, Death Battle is awesome and hilarious. If you haven't seen any Death Battle, please go watch them. They're really good. Um, but on their hard news, they mention that uh, My Little Pony... Uh, Fighting His Magic team went around Hasbro and talked directly to the creator of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and she apparently gave them the thumbs up. They have finished the game. Now, there is a website. Um, it's pretty much a Google uh, Documents page where you can actually download the game. There's some bug fixes, stuff that's in there. Um, there's online battling for this, too. There's, I think there's only like five characters. But there's online battling. Each character has a finishing move. It looks really cool. Um, but they're trying to keep it going until Hasbro comes in and shuts it down. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's all ties together with Square is Square has recently um, shut down a multitude of potential fan-based Final Fantasy VII movies. Um, recently, uh, I can't remember who it was, but they put up a trailer and Square said, no, you can't do that. Listen, guys, let's be real here. Hasbro, Square, whoever else out there, you should be honored that these fans, okay, that these fans are taking the time out of their busy schedule, going away from their loved ones, using their money to collaborate with other people that have the same passion as they as they do to make something as a fan service to you guys say hey you know I really loved this game here's my interpretation of it you know the the shining example and these guys are a great um, example are the guys at Team Four Star they fought through uh, Toy Animation uh, you know Akira Toriyama Whoever else had gotten on them about, you know, you can't do this. You can't make Dragon Ball Z at Reg. And if you haven't watched that, please do. It's hilarious. If you haven't watched Dragon Ball Z, it doesn't matter. It's hilarious. This stuff is... It's absolutely just pure written comedic genius. I have not laughed so hard... Excuse me. ...in my life at some of these episodes that I have in my entire... You know, anything else. You know. And I've seen and heard a lot of funny things. These guys are brilliant. So I will put a link for them in the description below as well. You know, I'm doing a lot of plugging. But what can I say? It's me. I like to share what I like and kind of put it on to you guys to take on and see if you like too. But the guys at Team Four Star fought. They have ultimately won. And if there's anybody else, those guys are the example that if you fight hard enough, you can win, you can, you know, 
push past these money growing companies, which Square, you are one of those. Because you keep putting out bad games, except for, from what I understand, Bravely Default, and I will own that game one day. But, I haven't been happy with your Final Fantasy series since, well, 13, because 10 wasn't bad, 11 was online, but I don't do that thing, and 12 wasn't bad. 13 was probably where it went wrong, because you, there was a lot of things wrong with that. I'm not going to go into that. We're not going to go into that. So, you know, for anybody who's watching this, if there's a fan service that you want to do to a company, you know, or a particular show, you know, I would I would love to see a group of people my age um, put on a Silverhawk series, because I loved that show, you know, um, do something like that. Uh, there's all kinds of of fan services out there, I'm sure, and I'm sure there's a bunch of companies going, no, you can't do that, you're taking money away from us. Okay, first of all, you're not taking money away. Nobody's taking money away from these big corporations, not because they have money, but if you look at it, if a group of people who love something so much, like with the guys who did the Fighting is Magic, or um, the guys over at Team Four Star, or these third-party guys that are making Transformer figures for the fans, you know, if, if they're not they're not taking your money. They're giving you more because, say, I go out and I get the the Fighting Is Magic game, which I do have. I have not installed it yet, but I do have it. Um, say I'm like, wow, you know what? I I'm gonna go ahead and sign me up. I'm gonna be a brony now, and I go out. Now, where what could I possibly further do to show off my passion for My Little Ponies? Well, golly gee willikers, Batman. There's action figures. There's apparel. There's keychains. There's everything. There's accessories. Well, darn, Hasbro, I guess you're going to get all my hard-earned money after all. It, that's how I look at it, okay? Somebody makes a, a Final Fantasy VII little film about Eris. Then somebody walks in or sees it on YouTube one day and watches it and goes, Huh, I wonder who this is. And they go type it in on their computer, Eris, and it leads to Final Fantasy VII, which leads them to Steam, which leads them to buying the game, which leads them to going, Wow, mind is blown. What a great game. And, and Square, that means that you got money. You got paid. So where is the big deal here, guys? I mean, seriously. I I don't get it. You know, you do all these little fan services. You know, Hasbro's reissuing um, Transformers over and over again, which, okay, whatever. But, you know, with the 30th anniversary right around the corner, actually, this is the, the uh, 30th year of Transformers, so happy birthday, Transformers. Um... They're re-releasing some old figures. That's, you're doing your own fan service. You're allowing people to do these third-party things. So Hasbro's got it right. Um, but Square, you really should just let the fans acknowledge you, appreciate you, and not, not hate you. I mean, when I think Squ Square Enix, I think of the Final Fantasy series. You know? But that's just me. That's what I was brought up on. Now, I have played the uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution, which they did, but that was after acquiring uh, IDOS. I think that's I'm saying that right. E-I-D-O-S, IDOS. Whatever. Doesn't matter. And I also acquired the new Tomb Raider because I was curious. I've never played the original Tomb Raiders. I was not into Laura the Boob Monstrosity Croft. This new one was fantastic. And... Then you've got this definitive edition where they cleaned up the graphics even further and gave you all the DLCs for, what was it, 50 bucks I saw today? That's that's not worth that. It really isn't. You're just making it prettier. And, you know, that's a whole other discussion I have about visuals and lack of content, you know, dialogue, the other things like that. But, you know, if you guys, any of you watch are watching this and you're like, well... You know, 
I'm a big fan of Thundercats. You got some friends, and they're all like, yeah, Lino, and yeah, Mumra. And you guys say, hey, you know what? Let's dress up and do a little short film. Do it. Do it for not just yourself, but do it for all the other fans. And if the, the TV and the toy companies come after you because you're doing it, you know what? Screw them. Do it anyways. Fight them tooth and nail if you can afford the legal. But fight back. You know, make them understand that because you're a fan, you're doing this. Don't let Hollywood reboot our old stuff like they did with the A Team. And uh, they'll be doing with, or they have with the Transformers, which is a whole other continuity, so I'm not really that angry about it. Same with Star Trek. Um, what they're doing with uh, the Ninja Turtles, thank the stars they stopped doing it as uh, as aliens. Thank goodness for that. But, you know, go out there and, and make uh, something that honors it. You know, what you love. And I know there's a lot of you guys out there. I see the cosplayers at the conventions. You know, I've never been to a convention, honestly. But, um... I've seen pictures, you know, of the League of Legends cosplayer, because I'm a League player. Uh, you know, that's fan service. You know, it would be terrible if Riot decided to shut down um, Stick Figure Spotlight and some of these other uh, YouTubers that are streaming the games, that are doing little comedy shticks with them. Um, so, Riot, you're got, you guys are good. You guys are good in my book. Uh... But, you know, the main offender here, I think, is, is Square. You know, let the fans love you. And as fans, if you let us love you, we'll love you back even more. Oh, excuse me. We'll, we'll go out and spend 40 or $50 on your new game. Because you said, you like us. And we're okay with that. So, you know, go go out there and, and honor the things that you love. You know, if, if I had the, the means and the money, I would probably make like a stop motion series on Transformers. Actually, I do know uh, there's a guy in a Transformers group I'm a part of who has talked about doing that. You know, that's fan service. So, you big corporations out there, you're bad if you don't appreciate your fans. Okay. I'm probably ranting. I probably got off on all kinds of other tangents. But anyways, um, that is the the discussion for the evening. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, you know. Or if you uh, have an opinion on this video, go ahead. Uh, the... The friendship or the the fighting is magic. I will put a link to uh, the site below, as promised, and uh, I will see you guys next week.